Well, hundreds of people lost their entire homes in the Marshall Fire. Others had partial damage, but despite how much of the home they went back mm -hmm. to, it's been nothing short of a struggle for all of these families. Denver 7's Veronica Costa met back up with one of those homeowners and got an inside look at the rebuilding process. It's been more than four months since the Marshall Fire. I do remember the day. Kevin Petty remembers the initial small white plume of smoke, the state troopers evacuating homes, the flames, and the feelings. The whole thing was an absolute roller coaster ride. I must have slept maybe an hour and a half, uh, maybe, maybe two hours total. The next morning, once flames had died down, Petty sent me this email asking to check on his home. We pretty much thought, you know, there's no way that our house is still standing. This is South Shore at Harper Lake. A gentleman named Kevin, he emailed us not long ago, like 15 minutes, asking if his home was okay. So this is his house here, standing the side portion of it, a little burnt. But this was the damage to Petty's home and what it looked like in December. This is what it looks like now. We thought, oh, you know, house is still standing. We're, we're lucky. Um, and then we got in here and we thought, oh my gosh, we're not so lucky. The home is gutted. A staircase once covered in his daughter's handprints now sits covered in soot. Everything the Petties once owned, gone. Every time I step into this house, it just saddens me to know what we had and, and to know that this was home. This isn't just Petty's story. It's the story for hundreds of others whose homes weren't burnt to the ground, but significantly damaged. They're now all faced with that tough question about the future. We're going to rebuild. We're going to put this place back together. And in that video, you probably saw all of Kevin's home is painted in white. He says that's actually part of the rebuilding process. Some folks went in there, they painted it just to make sure they're able to trap whatever smoke might be left and make it as safe as possible. We also asked Kevin about insurance. He says because the structure of his home didn't burn down, he doesn't expect to be underinsured. But as you can imagine, it won't be cheap to fix. He's expecting that bill to be somewhere around $600,000. Wow. Guys, back to you. Yeah, baby steps in a long rebuilding process. Thank you, Veronica.